So I really like to read, um, and I have like a set number of books that I like like to read per year. So the summers are the time that I like usually catch up and like meet most of the goals. So I would say reading literature. Um, my favorite thing to do is sit outside either by my pool or on my porch um, and read books. I usually read like a book a day in the summer um, just for enjoyment because I never have time during the semester. So. Uh, during the summer, I really like to spend time usually reading. If I don't have the cognition to read, like the, the focus to read, then I just like to listen to podcasts. Um, I feel like if I listen to podcasts during the school year, I don't really pay attention to any of the words that they're saying. Um, I also like to spend time doing, like, figuring out new hobbies that I don't really know, um, I don't really have time to do during the school year. So I like to figure out how to crochet, I like to figure out, um, like, kind of start over on how play guitar and everything. I love being able to hop on a bike, road cycle, um, BMX, that type of thing, as well as reading. I feel like school takes up a lot of time sometimes with that, um, so the summer it's really easy to do. One of the hobbies that I can recommend for someone in the summer, right, is to bodaciously play volleyball. Um, I really like hiking, and I don't think hiking is necessarily like unique to just summer alone, but like going out and seeing like beautiful scenery in like a warm weather, I think that's something I would recommend. I um, would suggest going to minor league baseball games. Major leagues are a lot of fun, but the minor leagues, there's no pressure for television and everything like that, so it's a lot of fun. In the summer, I like to aggressively boogie board. <laughs> it is one of my favorite hobbies.